planning and periodization in CoachRx. So we have this segmented out into three different areas. We have long-term plans, short-term plans, and daily plans. So you have to start by adding a long-term plan. So you choose your start date, your end date, and any long-term plan notes. So let's say that I added that, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up uh, this long-term plan view. So in this long-term plan view, everything will be blank until you add short-term plans. So you'll simply go to the top right, and you will click add short term plan. You will click the cycle type, accumulation all the way down to deload. You will choose your start date. You will put in length and weeks and that will automatically populate an end date. You will have your cycle priorities. So you can edit these as needed. They're just going to automatically pull in any priorities that already sit in your client's profile. You're gonna add any cycle notes. You're gonna go sustain type. So we have map 10 all the way down to map one any sustained notes, you have your pain type, anaerobic a lactic power all the way down to lactic endurance three, any pain notes, and then you would hit create. Once you hit create, you're going to be brought to the short term plan screen. So here you'll see everything that's inside of the short term plan. And you'll notice that this Monday through Sunday will not populate until you fill out the daily plan. So in the daily plan, you are putting in any pieces that will populate in your client's training calendar. It is extremely important to understand that these, these pieces must be separated by commas. If you do not separate these by commas, it will just be a very long tag on your client's calendar. So here we have squat, push, bend, and core. When we go to our client's calendar, you'll notice that squat, push, bend, and core is going to sit nicely there. So when we're designing training programs, we know exactly what the daily priorities are. So going back to the long-term plan, once you put that in, you're going to hit save. And again, I can't stress it enough, ensure that you're using the commas because that will separate the tags. If you notice that a day is missing, you will go to your client's training schedule update your client's training schedule, hit save, and if they had a day as a rest day, that day would not be here. You update it to on that day, and then that day will appear here. So that is the long-term, short-term, and daily plan structure inside of CoachRx.